Hey, what's up, brilliant business owner? Welcome to today's Authentic Selling TV. You're in the right place to learn how to turn your marketing efforts into actual customers. It's just that simple. On today's Authentic Selling TV, we're talking about something that is a little different from what we usually talk about. I mean, usually I'm pretty tactical and practical, and uh, this is a little bit of a confession, right? About what it's like to run a business and realize that you have unintentionally lost the feeling of feeling unique to quote Ryan Ross the third from formerly from Panic at the Disco. I've lost the feeling of feeling unique. And also what, what to do when you're not feeling authentic and you still got to show up. So that's first of all, kind of embarrassing to say that it happens to all of us, but it also absolutely happens to me, even though I run a business called Authentic Selling. And sometimes you don't realize it. You know, you've heard the saying, you can't see the forest for the trees. Well, sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. So here is what could be happening if you've lost that feeling of feeling unique. You're asking yourself, what's the point? You dread going to work. To work. You are very overwhelmed with all of the things. It doesn't feel fun anymore. You feel like you are glued to a formula or you won't make money. If you've identified with any of those, then likely you've lost the feeling of feeling unique. That is absolutely part of marketing dysfunction. And here's what I did about it. I'm not an expert on mindset. I'm not an expert on how to feel unique. Uh, but here's what worked for me. And I think it will work for some of you. I have realized in the last couple of months that I had very much become a watered down version of myself. And part of that was because I hired a lot of brilliant people who gave me a formula. I give formulas, by the way. Formulas are not evil. Uh, formulas go step by step so that you know what to do. But formulas are meant to be training wheels. And then you take them off and you run. I was so afraid to take them off that I kept following formula after formula after formula. When I looked at our messaging, I realized this doesn't even sound like me. It sounds like everybody else out there. I'm not having fun. I'm not loving going to work. I'm exhausted. I'm overwhelmed. And so all of this came about through a lot of personal work and working with a lot of great people. But you can self-identify if this is happening to you by, you know, answering those questions. Do you, do you dread going to work? Do you, are you overwhelmed? Do you... Um, are, are you happy? Are you fulfilled? All the things. And so if you feel like you maybe have lost the feeling of feeling unique, here's what I did. This is, this is a redhead rule. So we have a new YouTube show called Redhead Rules. And this is one of the redhead rules we teach in the very second episode. It's redhead rule. You find a way to bring the fun in. Now, I got a disclaimer here. I would not consider myself a fun person. That's not me being self-deprecating. It's just me. Uh, I have a girlfriend and I, we joke all the time that when Susan Hyatt says all the time, have more fun, make more money. Susan's also a friend. And I have another girlfriend who's like, what do we do to have fun? I don't know. I have no idea. Other than binging on the couch and, and obviously going to Broadway, that's been shut down. Uh, and, you know, traveling with my family. But what do you do to bring the fun into your business? And so through a lot of inner work and personal work and hiring a great marketing team, I was challenged with incorporating some of my love of theater into my business. And that brought the fun in. I got to tell y'all, I love, love, love Monday nights when I get to do reels on Instagram. I have dressed up like Madonna, MC Hammer, New Kids on the Block, My Chemical Romance, Spider-Man, Britney Spears, like we've had so much fun and creativity, create, creatively, I know exactly what makes me unique now. I know exactly how I want to stand out in the business again after 10 years. So if you've lost the feeling of feeling unique, if you're feeling like this area of marketing dysfunction may be showing up in your business, ask yourself this, what did you used to love to do? You know, did you love to perform? I had somebody say to me, our, our, somebody on our marketing team said, say to me, Kendrick, you're great at sales, but your superpower is performing and not in an inauthentic way. Well, she's right. 
I love to perform. I'm alive. That needs to be incorporated into my business. So I'm not going to ask you what your superpower is because that's hard to answer. I'm not going to ask you what you do for fun necessarily because you may be like me and say, I don't know, I'm not fun. But what did you used to love to do? Did you used to love to run? Did you used to love Marvel? We've incorporated Marvel into my business. Did you used to love Broadway? We've incorporated that. Did you love pop stars? We've incorporated that. Whatever it is, I bet there's a way that you can incorporate that into your business that makes you feel alive. That reminds you just how unique you are. And when you communicate from a place like that, you will close more sales. It's just that simple. I believe in you and I believe in your business. If y'all are not subscribed to Get Redhead Rules, do so now. You're gonna see, you're gonna be introduced to characters like sleazy salesmen. You're gonna be introduced to characters who represent anxiety. You're gonna be used, introduced to characters who represent I lost my train of thought. You know, the, the point is you're going to be introduced to all kinds of characters and it's going to be funny and it's going to be fun and it's going to be different and it's absolutely going to be educational. I believe in you and I believe in your business.